Pat, do you, what do you think about uh, accrediting the greenness of TV shows? You know, it, uh, Fox, uh, forgive me, has been making a lot of claims lately about how green they are, and 24 is the greenest show on TV and everything. I mean, how is it even possible to compare the apples and oranges that we have on TV? What do you think, Steve? Yeah, I agree with uh, Mary Jo that it, each each production is uh, is different. They all required, you know, they all have different requirements, and it would be tough to come up with some sort of industry standard that says uh, you, you have to tow this line in order to get some sort of seal at the at the back end of your TV show that's going to appear there for that eighth of a second. But, um, I think it's more, a, it's just a, more a sense of just a consciousness that we have to raise. Mm -hmm. it's just everybody's you just got to keep plugging at it and keep, as, as uh, younger and younger people come up and this is more and more a part of their lives, it's something that will become more and more a part of our industry. Right. I mean, as somebody once said to me, why do you care so much about the green credit? on the end of the movies that you work on, you know, who's ever heard of choosing a movie based on the green credit? You know, not, you're not gonna basically go to a movie this weekend because of the green credit, and now you're gonna go see the movie because it's got the stars that you love and the script that you love. Um, you know, if it, if it ever were able to, you know, would you choose a movie based on the greenness the way you chose a breakfast cereal based on the greenness? No. So in that regard, the accreditation might not be appropriate. Um, Dana, you have another question over there. Oh, great. Here's something funny. Meredith and I, when we were starting Green Media Solutions, we, we actually regis registered for and got the trademark on No Climate Was Changed based on the No Animals Were Harmed model. And when, when uh, Away We Go was finished, we took it to um, the folks at Focus Features and we said, based on your eco scorecard and your climate footprint, you know, 975 metric tons of carbon, that's fantastic. You deserve this credit, where underneath no animals were harmed in the making of this movie, you can put, and no climate was changed in the making of this movie. Um, their lawyers freaked out. And they're like, what do you mean no climate was changed? Just because we only changed a little climate and then offset the rest? We're gonna put that in the credits of our movie? I don't think so. And they, they have 16 lawyers, and the, just because they're an independent company doesn't mean they don't have 16 lawyers. And they were panic-stricken by the broadness of that statement. Mm -hmm. And you know, we went to a lot of trouble to get that phrase <laughs> trademarked, and you know, we've never used it. Yeah, well, Jane Evans and I wrote that on the phone, and then about 30 other people reviewed it, and uh, I think they only used it twice, and then they rewrote it for Fast and Furious 4. <laughs> and now they're rewriting it for Fast and Furious 5. So I think it's gonna be a, a, a constantly mutating thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think, Katie, if I could. Yes, I think, please. Like, like I think Jimmy said a few minutes ago when he said not, you can't go from zero to 102 mm -hmm. seconds. Mm -hmm. You kind of have to take small steps. I think things that are more easily standardized, just like when the, the government says, here's what the you know, fuel economy has to be on cars. You know, at some point, you can compare apples to apples. You can say, you know, all the fuel that was used was at least whatever percentage biodiesel. Something like that, I think, is more easily standardized and it's compared because if you're a $1 million movie, you're just not gonna use as much biodiesel as you are if you were a huge movie, but if it's a percentage of diesel that you're using, that can be standardized. You can say things like, you know, all disposable cutlery 
was compostable, or all trash on this movie was composted or recycled whenever possible. Something like that can be compared, and that goes through all spectrum of production, TV, film, commercials, independent, studio, uh, and it goes across the board. Because you know, in our business, and it really walks the line between mm -hmm. the creative and the business, so many decisions are made that are creative-based. And you can't, it would be impossible to tell someone who's creatively responsible and has creative control over the film, well, you have to do this because we have to not come over a certain benchmark to get an accreditation. And then you're making creative decisions that's going to affect money, quality, rights, the whole thing that you can't do. But if it's more just things that you can compare apples to apples, and doesn't speak about the whole movie necessarily, but just about what certain elements were done, that I think can become a little bit more standardized, little mm. by little. And what that morphs into mm. years from now, you know, we'll see. But if you start small, it'll, it'll grow from there.